Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to talk all about wired and wireless speakers. All right, so the question comes up all the time. Um, do you guys have wireless speakers for any number of applications or uh, projects, that kind of thing? So I want to kind of clear up, you know, some of the different wireless speaker options that are out there, how they might work, as well as where wired speakers might be a little bit more appropriate or maybe what we have to uh, resort to for your application. Wireless speaker options have a couple of different ways of, of being wireless. In the home realm, sometimes they just broadcast wirelessly, you know, um, from say a subwoofer over to rear satellite speakers via RF. Sometimes they're connected via Bluetooth, like from a sound bar to a wireless subwoofer. Um, and then sometimes there are actually Wi-Fi or network-enabled powered speakers uh, or, that are wireless. So that's some of the different ways that wireless connections work. Um, that's something we have to think through because depending on your application, there might be wireless limitations of why a wireless speaker can't work. Because with everything I just described, there is a range distance that matters. Bluetooth, you know, may get you 20 or 50 feet uh, in order to broadcast uh, wirelessly. Um, that's on the high end for a lot of uh, a lot of products. So in cases like school gymnasiums or large warehouses, Bluetooth connectivity doesn't really work because it's so far away that we may not be able to broadcast that far. Um, in those types of situations and applications, a wired speaker option makes the most sense. Currently wireless speakers are normally relegated to um, background music or foreground music for home type environments primarily. So if you've got a large scale commercial environment like a, uh, a weight room or like a school gymnasium or rodeo arena or that kind of thing, right now wireless speaker options aren't available for something of that size where we really need high output sound and uh, lots of wattage. With wireless, we also do have to keep in mind that um, if we're using a Wi-Fi speaker, uh, to be, Wi-Fi speaker like a, uh, from companies like Sonos or um, Yamaha uh, and others, those basically require um, transmitting data um, through your Wi-Fi signal to a speaker that is plugged into a wall outlet that has a built-in amplifier inside. So there is data being sent um, to and from. That means that if you have uh, limited Wi-Fi connectivity in certain locations, slow Wi-Fi in a space, that kind of thing, a wireless speaker uh, may start to degrade signal or degrade audio quality because it also is uh, wireless and does operate on a Wi-Fi. There's also software built in. Sometimes you have to deal with things like firmware upgrades um, versus a more analog speaker connected on, to an actual speaker wire. You don't have any of that going on. How do wireless systems really work? Um, like I mentioned, you generally have uh, your source that's uh, connected and paired to the speaker. That may be um, you know, a box like a, a Sonos Connect or something like that. That might be a personal device like a cell phone. But basically you do have to pair one device to another. Um, and then as a result of whether that's connected with Bluetooth or with network, you then have um, range based on uh, those attributes. With wireless speakers, you then have to know how many speakers can I connect at one time. With something like Bluetooth, sometimes it is possible to connect two powered speakers um, via Bluetooth and like a stereo pair. But generally with Bluetooth, we can't connect to say a dozen in ceiling speakers. Bluetooth generally requires uh, a handshake of sorts between the personal device and the uh, device we're pairing to. With Wi-Fi, um, systems like Sonos and Yamaha, there are some restrictions uh, on a very high number of speakers. Um, don't normally encounter that on a regular basis, but it is something to keep, keep in mind if you're looking at a large project. Um, those limitations are not present in most cases in a distributed 70 volt commercial audio system. So if we are looking at a very large office building um, that needs music, uh, a large hospital that needs paging, things like that, uh, at this point in time in history, a wired solution is still the most popular. In some commercial applications, wireless speakers that use Wi-Fi can be appropriate. Uh, we can use wireless speaker options for things like restaurants, uh, retail stores, um, spaces where volume may not necessarily be super loud, where you have um, a good wireless infrastructure in place and don't want to pull a lot of cabling. Or 
many times we still do go with the good old-fashioned wired speaker if you're not interested in you know using things that are on your Wi-Fi network uh, and dealing with things like uh, firmware upgrades and things along those lines. We all wish that wireless speakers uh, were available to, f to fill uh, all the applications out there from wireless gymnasium sound systems to wireless fitness sound systems to wireless stadiums and things like that. Uh, but unfortunately, the industry isn't quite there yet. This is a question we hear a lot of times, and trust me, I'm rooting for those kind of options to be available in the future as well. So um, if you do have questions um, about when and where you can use a wireless speaker versus a wired speaker, um, definitely give us a buzz or drop me a line down below um, at Nathan at Pro Acoustics, and we'd love to talk more about your, your project and your application.